What's up everybody? I'm here at the Ramada Hotel in Midland and I'm packing up, headed back home. In the morning, my flight leaves at seven. Can't wait to go get on that plane and go home. It's been a long 14 days. Been working out here for Felix, the energy company. And yeah, it's been rough. It's been hot. <clears throat> Even though it's September, it's been like 100, 97 and humid, 100 and humid, it's been bad. But uh, yeah, I got through it, had tons of pulmonary maintenance, busted our asses, but we are off, red cruise out, and uh, packing up, trying to fit everything in one little backpack, this size. Because it's United. United sucks. Um, they only let you have one personal item. And I've got a laptop bag. I've got a camera bag. And some other random, random crap. So, anyway, I will be home at noon tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I'm going to go out on the lake. I don't know what else I'm gonna do, but it'll be awesome. And my dad's going to the hospital tomorrow, so I'm a little nervous about that. He's gonna have like a stent put in his heart. He's got blockage. So hopefully everything will go good. And that's about it for now. I will talk to you when I'm back in Alabama. So yesterday I get back from Midland, Texas, back from work, and I settle in at the house, and I get my te text from Dad and says bad news. My mom texts me and says there's bad news. And I finally get to talk to my dad, and he says that the cardiologist says he has to have hard bypass surgery, and. So, I booked a flight last night to Phoenix here, and I just got into Phoenix. I gotta catch the shuttle up to Sedona today. So I'm walking to try to catch my shuttle to Sedona now. Um, I'm at Sky Harbor Airport. And hopefully the shuttle will be nice. I've never ridden the shuttle before. My dad or somebody's always picked me up here. But uh, it'll be interesting. Hopefully my dad's not too nervous about this going into surgery. Dad's house, <clears throat> Sedona, Arizona. You get the key to off it. Yep. Oh, I got all my stuff. Yeah.
<laughs> so my dad just went into the surgery room and he's gonna be in there for four to six hours uh, doing this possibly a quadruple bypass surgery and it's a little scary because they say his arteries are in really bad condition so there's not very much uh, material that they can attach the new arteries to so they're gonna have to reroute one um, up above the heart she said I don't know the surgeon was really really great and everybody in there is very friendly but it's a little scary procedure because his arteries are in such bad condition but he is younger than most patients he's 66 so that might give him a better chance of healing up quicker and all that so I got high hopes <clears throat> got a lot of people praying for him and uh, so yeah it's scary and but he's in pretty good spirits he's a little nervous which I would be way more nervous than he is if I was in his situation but I mean I went into nose surgery like probably I don't know a year ago year and a half ago and it scared the crap out of me but it was only like an hour procedure nothing serious like this so I don't know I think he's probably was pretty nervous going in he just tried not to show it <laughs> but um, I'm a little nervous but I know everything will work out fine and so yeah this is my adventure in Arizona this week uh, in this hospital you know doing stuff I've never done before I never talked to a surgeon about open heart surgery or <laughs> uh, kind of figured out how this procedure works but he'll be in there for four to six hours so it's 10 o'clock now he went in at nine we should be hearing something from about one one to three o'clock this afternoon and hopefully he'll be good to go um, he will have a he'll be in ICU for like uh, probably two days and he's got to have this breathing tube in his throat for a couple hours after he comes out and that's never fun they say that's really uncomfortable so I hate that for him but other than that I think he's gonna be all right and he's gonna get through this and he'll be back to hiking mountains so I am starving. I haven't eaten any breakfast. I've been up since five with dad, taking him to the hospital. So I'm going to Jimmy John's. Gotta eat healthy, you know. So, yep, I'm here at Jimmy John's. About to go get some grub. I just talked to the surgeon <clears throat> and my dad is out of the surgery room and into ICU so I get to go see him now I'm so excited everything went well they said um, so I'm about to go see how he's doing I don't think he's completely woke up yet but <clears throat> they said give him about two hours and maybe they can get that breathing tube out of his throat and then uh, maybe he'll be able to talk I'm sure he's feeling crappy and the breathing tube sucks but <clears throat> he's out and everything's good so 
I'm really excited. <laughs> what's up everybody i just got out of the hospital it's like 7 15 and uh i didn't get much sleep last night tried to sleep in a chair uh and the nurse kept coming in like every hour to give dad pills and check on his stuff so yeah i didn't get much sleep last night but i'm here in flagstaff and i just found that they have a dutch brothers coffee and I'm so excited because I have not had Dutch Brothers coffee since I think we were in Oregon in 2010 and it was so good. The best coffee I've had. We'll see if it's still that good. I'm about to go through the drive through now and I'm really excited about it because I really need some coffee right now. I did not get much sleep and yeah. So that's what I'm about to go do, get some coffee. How's it going? Hello, good. How are you? Great. Are we just doing the large hot vanilla latte? Yes. Okay. What are we uh, doing today? Are we working? No, I'm uh, actually at the hospital with my dad. He just had bypass surgery. So. Oh, so you were like just going back and forth? Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night. I stayed there with him, so I really need some coffee. Oh, yeah, no, you gotta do the coffee run. I'm, I'm sure yeah. he appreciates having you, unless he's not like awake yet. Oh, yeah. No, he's doing good. He's doing really well. Yeah, but good for you to be there. I was excited him. to see that y'all have Judge for this coffee here because I had it in Oregon one time. I'm and it was really Oregon. good. I in Oregon as really? well. What part? Uh, I think I was in uh, Florence or somewhere. Over. Yeah, we have them all over up there. So yeah. you were just visiting, or do you have family up there? Yeah, I was just visiting. Yeah, checking it out. But. Okay, so do you guys live in Flag or? I live in Alabama. I'm from Huntsville. Oh my gosh! My dad yeah. lives in Sedona, so yeah. Okay, so you just got out here then? Or? Yeah. That's so nice of you. Yeah, I've definitely been there for my dad too. One time when he was in the hospital, I stayed with him for like a week. Yeah. So he's gonna appreciate that. When do yeah. you go back? Oh, I got a week here and I head back. My sister's gonna come in, spend some time with him also. So. Honestly, I love Sedona. Yeah. That is so cool he lives there. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very unique place, especially to say you live there. Yeah, he lives like right up on the hill where he can just go hiking like right out of his yeah. backyard. So. You guys live literally where everyone nice. comes out to like see. I uh, personally, like I like the Grand Canyon, but I think Sedona's way better. Yeah. Yeah, I go there all the time. I mean, it's way closer too, but I just think it's so unique. Yeah, it is. Um, it's beautiful. Well, if you're gonna be here, um, Thank I'll you. I'll get you um, one of these so you can come back and see us. Oh, sweet. Especially because you're from Alabama, so just fill it up next time. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll get a free one. Thank so, you. Yeah, good luck. Right, come back and see it. us soon. Thanks. Bye.
What's up guys, I'm waiting in traffic again in Oak Creek Canyon, Sedona. little sugar loaf you can climb that um, at sunset it's really beautiful and that back there that's Thunder Mountain it's a little harder to climb it's a lot harder to climb but it's an awesome view from up there also I'm told I haven't climbed that one yet my dad has several times but I'm gonna get up there eventually So yeah, I'm stuck in traffic here in Oak Creek Canyon, uh, coming out of Sedona up to Flagstaff. I don't know if anybody's been on this road before, but it's a beautiful drive curving up through here. But recently they've had tons of road work and it sucks right now. But hey, I'm talking to you, it's an adventure. And hopefully I'll get to see my dad in a few 30 minutes or so. And grab some coffee and head to the hospital. So like this, I was, I just gotten home from work. Um, I was at home for like probably less than 24 hours. So just settling in, relaxing on the couch. My dad calls and is like, oh, I'm gonna have to have triple bypass heart surgery <laughs> on Friday. And this was Thursday night. Or no, this was Wednesday night. So I had to buy a, a flight last minute and jump on a plane the very next morning at the crack of dawn but i knew that this was this was going to be really rough on my dad and i never kn didn't know you know he could he could possibly die in this surgery it's not an easy surgery so i definitely made the decision to go ahead and buy that flight take a take the trip in the morning and come out and see my dad 
and it's been good. Um, he's doing great now, but you never know. 